What is going on guys, my name is Maximus and you are watching the King Bills YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing a review on the Central Machinery 12 ton hydraulic pipe bender. Um, I don't know if you can see this logo right there, but I got this from Harbor Freight for I believe it was like $149. So we're going to go ahead, open it up, we'll bend some pipe and we'll see how it performs. Look at the size of that attachment right there. That is for some big tubing. I believe that's for the two inch. All right, here we go. So this is the main part of the pipe bender. And we got all these parts here. This is, this goes onto the bottle jack to jack it up. All right, so here we have the actual pipe bender, the body of it. This right here is the 12 ton hydraulic ram. And this piece right here is the little arm put in here to start jacking it up. And right here are all of the attachments. Um, this one I believe is the half inch, three quarter, one inch, one and a quarter, one and a half, two. So in today's review, we will be bending some one inch pipe as well as one and a quarter pipe. Um, this thing should work pretty well. So we'll go ahead, um, we'll hook it all up, put some pipe through it and we'll see how it works. I'm going to be bending a pipe that is one and a quarter inch and all of these will be labeled with the size. What you're going to do is you're just going to put it up on top there. And on the inside you have these rollers and what you're going to do is adjust them based on the size that you're going to be bending. Uh, if you're bending a two inch, you put it on the outside and then you got one and a half, one and a quarter, one inch, three quarters and half inch. So we're going to be doing one and a quarter so we're just going to move both of these rollers down one space. So what you're going to do first is grab the safety pin right here and you're just going to give it a tug and it should pop right out. And then you take this pin out and then now you'll have the roller, the pin, and the little safety pin. And now what you can do is adjust it based on what size of pipe you're going to be bending. I'm doing one and a quarter which is right here. So I'm going to hold the roller in place, slide the pin through, and put the safety pin in. So this is a piece of pipe I'm going to bend and I got it marked out and this is actually going to be a bumper for a go-kart. Um, and if you want to check that video, it is on my YouTube channel. Uh, it's really cool. It's a big go-kart and we'll be doing a lot of this kind of stuff. So if you want to see more, check it out. So to operate the hydraulic ram, which is this cylinder right here, um, what you're going to do is you're going to tighten this valve, which is right here at the bottom. And right here on this little pole, you stick that right on there and you just start twisting until it gets tight that's going to do is that's going to make sure it doesn't just relieve the pressure. Then what you're going to do, stick it into here and just start pumping. And as you do that, it's going to continue to lift. Um, so that's what you do to operate it. And then once you want to relieve the pressure, you put this pole back on, you spin to the left, and then you'll see here in one second I loosened it. And now you're able to push it down with a little bit of force. We're gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Put this in here. Put our piece of pipe in. So with this pipe I just bent, I'm not too happy with it because it just kinked and this go-kart, as you can see, has nice curves. So if I just do a kink like that on the front, it won't look very good. So what I'm gonna try to do to make that a nicer curve is first I switched the die. Um, I had a one inch and a quarter because that's the type of pipe I'm bending. I switched out for a smaller one. This is a one inch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fill the pipe with sand. All right, so first off, I'm gonna get some of this painter's tape. I'm going to tape up the end of the pipe. All right, so I got the one end taped up. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to get this funnel here and fill it up with sand. All we're gonna do is just fill this pipe all the way up to the top. What you wanna do is as you fill it up, you just wanna tap the pipe a little so that sand can compact. So far, it looks pretty good. All right guys, so far it is looking really nice compared to the other one, no kinks at all. 
All right, that looks pretty much 90 degrees right there. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it off and we'll take a look. So one thing that has happened here is the actual pipe is now jammed inside of the die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to try and pop it out here. There we go. So if you take a look at that, that is a very nice bend compared to the other one. This one has no kinks at all. And all we did was put sand in here, tap it on the ground so it's nice and compact, uh, taped up the ends, and there we go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other end of the pipe over here, and we'll see how that one looks. This is the first attempt, and it just kinked right at the corner, and that is the one that we just did. So this is full of sand, and we used the uh, die that was one size smaller, and take a look at that. That looks so much better. Nice curves, it follows the curves on the go-kart. Um, so that's how you make nice curves with the Harbor Freight 12 ton hydraulic pipe bender. Hey guys, so that's the end of today's video. Hopefully you found that helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe and also hit that notifications bell so you get notified when the next video comes out. And if you wanna also follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you can, I'll put the username up on the screen at the end. It's KB underscore Thank you guys for watching, I'll catch you in the next one.